Giannis made his way to the league from the second division in Greece back in 2013. He averaged nine points and five boards that season. He shot 31% from three as an 18 year old. The numbers ain't crazy, but his natural ability was enough to draw interest from not only the league, but other teams around Europe. It is said that Zaragoza offered him $400,000 to play in Spain next year, but he exercised his NBA out clause so he could go to the league. But we can't forget about the Nassus as he was the second leading scorer on that team in Greece and he played with the same energy and athleticism as he does today. Their journey of going from playing in the streets of Greece to the NBA and playing in Milwaukee is special and is definitely worthy of respect. A couple of things I'll take from Giannis' situation is number one, where he came from to get to the NBA. Obviously we see him now as a superstar, but like thinking about where he came from being in the second division of Greece, like the second division of Greece is not even one of the best second divisions in Europe, let alone it being a second division. Historically, if we look at Dirk Nowitzki, he came from the second division of Germany and both second divisions are probably equally as bad. But we have to give a lot of credit to the evaluators. Whoever the scouts were, for both individuals, but let's just talk about Giannis. Whoever the scouts were in scouting Giannis definitely saw something and they saw a vision that obviously paid out, paid out well. When we look at Giannis back then, he was obviously skinny, but he wasn't even the most skilled individual. I mean, it's so hard to look at second division basketball, especially when there's not a lot of athletes on the floor, and then see a successful athlete playing well, you kind of start to think twice about it. And I kind of think of second division basketball as we tend to think about low major basketball in the United States and college basketball. You have plenty of players in low major schools that may have the length, may have the athleticism, or may have the motor, um, much like Giannis did, but they aren't necessarily given the opportunities because for whatever reason, I do believe that evaluators kind of look at the lower levels of college basketball being much different than the lower levels of international basketball. Whereas I personally think the lower levels of college basketball are better than a lot of these lower level international leagues out there. So it's interesting that, you know, they were able to find this talent and obviously they were right. I wonder what kind of backlash they got, you know, going back in those rooms and, you know, and showing them the tape and explaining where he was playing and things of that nature because it's not something that you see commonly. I mean, we've only seen it, to my knowledge, we've seen it twice with Dirk and, and Giannis, uh, but it paid out and it, and it went well for, for both of them. But when we think about Giannis and his humble beginnings, I think that's why we see this humble superstar we see today. Um, Giannis, as well as his brother, I mean, they, from what I've read, they came from a very, very tough background, um, only eating once a day, you know, doing what they could for food. I mean, Giannis, he made 1.7 million his rookie year and he sent the majority of his money home. And everybody's heard that story where he was headed to a game and didn't even have money for a cab and somebody had to give him a ride to the arena. And I think that humility is what kind of thrives, you know, uh, what makes Giannis thrive today. And I, I think it's, uh, it's a very interesting story, you know, when uh, you think about, you know, all of his brothers, you know, having the opportunity to even play in the NBA, I mean, Say what you want, maybe Giannis got him there, whatever it is, but these other brothers of his, they play basketball as well. And it's not like they haven't gotten on the court and scored a point or two, you know? So, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for that family, everything that they've gone through. And then Giannis, you know, just doing the, uh, the most that he could for his family and, and sending the money. It was funny, I was reading the article about him even being offered uh, 400,000 from that Spanish team. And, you know, I guess the first thing that came out of his mouth is I'm going to, you know, move my family out there and I'm going to buy a car, you know. So he, he's always thought about his family. He's always gave back. And, uh, you know, he, he's definitely a humble giant that we have in the uh, in, in the NBA today. So, you know, it's been fun watching Giannis and even the Nassus. The Nassus probably, in my opinion, looked better at that age. The Nassus was 20, Giannis was 18. But uh, obviously we've seen how, how the talent has played out up to this point. But, um, you know, it, it's great to see, you know, the stars of today and where they came from. So stay tapped in and then let's see who we got coming up next.